Hi, welcome to my channel, Maria Wits and Beyond. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful bracelet. It's made with flat Cellini. Uh, in the description box, there's gonna be a link to a video to show how to make the stitch if you don't know how to make it. And um, I made this on my Spanish channel and it was requested for me to make it in, in English. So that's what I made it. Um, some of these beads, they're going to be available on my website, marielbeadsandbeyond.com. I have um, the Matubo, they're available, and the uh, Unions as well. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Another thing I want to mention is that I'm putting a class together to show how to make this bracelet. Um, if you live um, in the Twin City areas in Minnesota, I'm going to be having the class either in Eden Prairie or in Bloomington. So I hope you guys can join me. Um, if you are interested, you can go to my Facebook. I created an event and you can uh, select there if you are interested or if you want. So I can have an idea. I need at least 15 people so I can make the class and the class will probably be um, sometime in September. I'm going to have uh, the kids available. Uh, so far, uh, the price is going to be $40. Um, for the class and it's going to include all the materials and uh, everything you need to make the bracelet i'm trying to check on the uh, cost to see if i can reduce it but uh, um so far that's what it is so i hope you guys can join me please let me know on facebook or even in the comments uh just leave a comment if you uh, live around the area and you will be interested in joining this class the list of materials you're going to need to make this bracelet, you're going to need seed beads 15 0 uh, these ones are Unions 11 0 Miyuki 8 0 and these ones are Matubo 8 0 You're going to need as well a class of your choice. I'm going to use these two strands. I really like the way this bracelet looks with this clasp. So, for thread, we're going to be using Fireline 6 pound and I'm going to be using a needle size 12. Um, for thread, if you want a bracelet size 7, you're going to need around 4 arm spam and a half of thread, which my arm spam is like about 58 inches. So you're going to need 58 inches multiplied by 4. With 58 inches, you make just two of this so and this is like an inch so for my bracelet i made two four six eight nine i use four arm spams so that's 58 multiplied by four um the one thing i want to mention about making this bracelet i don't want you to panic if you notice your bracelet it's all twisted it's gonna be fine eventually when you add your clasp, it's gonna take the shape, or you can even put it in something to, to keep the shape. So don't try to be making it that looks straight while you're making it. So how do you know when you are done? When you need to stop adding your beads? You gotta compare, this is the side when we started. If you put it on like this way, it's gotta be the same way. It's gotta be identical. As you can see, right here we end up with one purple, and right here we got three green ones. It's the same way right here. We got three, and we have one purple. To finish it, right here, all you have to do now is you gotta add only uh, the 15 holes. You're not gonna add any more of the other beads down here because we are done. So we are coming out of 115, we're gonna pick up 115 and we are going to sew through the 15 and we are going to pull tight. We are going to pick up 115. Remember when we are on our way up, we always gonna pick up the seed bead. There are threads exit out, so we're gonna we are going to 
pick up one fifteen and sew through the next fifteen. Pick up one fifteen and sew through the eleven o. Right now we are coming out of a eleven o. We are going to pick up one eleven o, and we are going to sew through the eight. We are coming out of a eight. So we are going to pick up at eight. And we are going to boom. We are coming out of a eight. We are going to pick up an eight and we are going to sew through the matubo. And remember on our way back, you gotta pick up the bead that you have in front. So we have our next bead is an eight o so we are going to pick up an eight o and we are going to sew through the eight and we are going to pull tight the one that we have in front is an eight so we are going to pick up an eight and we are going to sew through the eight in front we have a 11 so we are going to pick up at 11 and we are going to sew through the 11 right here we have a 15 so we are going to pick up a 15 and we are going to sew through the 15 And so through the eleven, right now we are coming out of one eleven, so we are going to pick up one eleven. We are coming out of one eight, so we're gonna pick up at eight. Now on our way back, remember you always gotta pick up the seed bead that is coming up ahead so we're gonna pick up at eight and we are going to sew through the eight right now we see a uh, we have an eleven we're gonna pick up at eleven and we are going to sew through the eleven right now all we gotta do is add fifteens So right now we are coming out of a 11 so we're gonna pick up at 11 and we are going to sew through the 8. On our way back the next bit we're gonna sew through it's an 11 so we're gonna pick up at 11. And we are going to pull tight. From now on, we're gonna add 15s until you get the length that you want for your bracelet. So continue adding 15s, and I'll be right back to show you how to add your clasp. I'm done adding the rows that I want for my bracelet. As you can see, I just have two more um, rows of um, 15s. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna pick up one 15 o, 
and I'm going to sew through the first one. I'm going to pick up one fifteen all and I'm going to sew through the second one. And right here, I'm going to pick up my clasp and I'm going to sew through the loop. I'm going to pick up one matubo. I'm going to bring it down. And I'm going to skip the matubo. I'm going to sew through the clasp. And I'm going to sew through the next 15 of sticking out. Pull tight. Our thread is coming out of this 15 of. We are going to sew down through one. up through one we are going to sew up through the clasp we are going to pick up one matubo and we are going to skip the matubo so down through the clasp and we are going to sew through the next 15 And this is optional, you don't have to add it this way. So you're gonna pick up one 15 more. And one more 15 more. And all I you have to do right now, it's reinforce this. So what you need to do is just so back one down so one up so one more up one down one up and you can sew through the clasp right now sew through the matubo down through the clasp and right here you can sew through the 15 of right here so one down one up and up through the clasp through the matubo down through the clasp and through the 15 And all you have to do now is reinforce once again. You can reinforce two more times or as many times you feel comfortable. And this is the way you add your class. Okay, so all you have to do right now is repeat the same steps on this side 
remember you gotta continue adding your seed beads until you finish your pattern and then um, you gotta add 15 until you get the length that you want and repeat the same steps to add the clasp and uh, you should be done with your bracelet so I hope you guys like this tutorial I hope it was easy to follow along if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my videos and share them with your friends until next time bye bye